Hello everybody, it's Dr. Jason Young from Body of Health Chiropractic and Wellness Center and uh, we have just two more days left until Water Week officially starts and uh, still getting a really exciting response. Uh, let me check right here. It looks like um, as of right now we have 237 people that are signed up for the challenge and for those of you who are keeping track that means that we're just 13 people away from being able to uh, give out one more water bottle. And I do have uh, I do have our next winner that's been drawn. You'll find that name at the end of the video. So I just wanted to take a, a quick minute to share with you uh, just a little bit of information about water. And uh, so one thing that somebody pointed out was it's good to uh, to be conscious of the environment while you do this. Uh, there's a lot of options out there for bottled water and things like that, and um, it would be great if uh, you had a good reusable water bottle or some sort of vessel that you could carry water in. For example, uh, one of these handsome water bottles that you could win, right? And um, just try to, to limit the amount of waste that you're making. Uh, along with that, so that, that might mean that you're filling up your water bottle from like the tap or something. And wherever you live, uh, it's really common for uh, the water treatment uh, places to use chlorine in order to purify the water. The reason they do this is because chlorine is really good at killing bacteria. But it's not 100% safe, which is the issue. And so some areas really heavily chlorinate their water. Other places put a really light amount, uh, but you might want to limit your exposure to chlorine. Uh, there's some thinking that, uh, for example, one of the things that chlorine can do is to uh, lead to atherosclerosis. Um, during the Korean War, uh, there were some soldiers who were given uh, heavily chlorinated water and uh, then when they did autopsies on uh, some of the men in this unit, they found that 75% of them had advanced uh, atherosclerosis. And uh, the theory is that it was due to uh, drinking that heavily chlorinated water. And these are 22-year-old men, not, not your typical age group for advanced atherosclerosis. So I'm not saying that by drinking uh, your city tap water, you're going to uh, you know suddenly get heart disease. But uh, what chlorine does is it oxidizes um, uh, other molecules. So like oxidation is a process by which uh, metal becomes rusted and um, and so oxidation definitely happens in our body that is uh, what leads to things like aging um, so when you get um, you know old wrinkled skin and things like that that's oxidized skin it also happens to our organs and it also happens to cholesterol and in fact it's the thing that makes cholesterol dangerous uh, your body makes cholesterol it's not terribly dangerous unless it's oxidized and so um, chlorine can add to that oxidation of, uh, of tissues and perhaps even cholesterol making it dangerous. So what do you do to get rid of chlorine? Uh, there's a few options. You can drink purified water, uh, get a water filter. Uh, they have some that you can attach straight to your faucet or your tap, uh, which will limit your exposure, exposure to the chlorine. Um, vitamin C crystals can help to uh, counteract the effects of the chlorine. Um, although for Water Week, I wouldn't recommend using like emergency, but you can like if you go to a health food store, you can get little vitamin C crystals that you could put in there. Um, other options are boiling your water um, and things like that. So uh, yeah, just be on the lookout for chlorine. Uh, if, it, if your water smells like a swimming pool, then there's probably a bunch of chlorine in it. Um, otherwise, uh, hopefully you're you're planning and looking forward to a really great Water Week. I know that I am, and. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. It really helps us out when you like and share these videos as well. Uh, it helps kind of spread the message and the good word and everything like that. Uh, hang out for just a few seconds and you'll find out who the next winner of a water bottle is. And like I said before, we're just 13 people away from being able to give out a fifth water bottle. And we'd love to, uh, love to give out all the ones that we have. We have more, so let's see if we can even push it past that 250 to uh, 300 and give out a sixth water bottle. So again, Dr. Jason Young, Body of Health, Chiropractic and Wellness Center. Hopefully you have a, uh, a great day. Congratulations right. to our latest water bottle winner, Sadie Walter. Remember, if you want a chance to win a water bottle too, we need more people participating in Water Week. So for every 50 people that we get, we will uh, do a drawing and give one away. Thanks. Have a great day.